Previously on Dorking Uncovered, nobody admitted that this was their cereal bowl. Who's with this? TNT are filming at Meadowbank for the first time, and that requires a lot of cables. Seven or eight thousand kilometres of cable for this rig today. They asked me to help with the sound check. Noel McManus annoys everybody. Cal Kennedy seems to know everybody. Bertie is the greatest interviewee we've ever had. Or we will get promoted either in the playoff final or top. I don't mind. <laughs> and probably most importantly, Dorking are going direct. Jase, if we're going direct in that, let's just pick on it. Let's pick on it. Just literally go double team. Double team their back line. And now, the Barnet match. Let's go! Mark wants his team to be pretty direct today, knowing that that's his best chance to get past the Barnet defence. A fast, direct start. That's the plan. Don't let him go too easy, Harry. Set it up! Set it up! Joe! Good, Dan! Isaac! Dan! Hang it up, hang it up. Hi. Jason Pryor and Harry the Octogotaway are the battering rams up top, off which the midfielders should be able to join the attack. Forward! Wanderers are certainly starting out on the offensive, although their midfielders will need to be quick to snuff out any pending counter-attacks. Josh, you got two there! Although direct play is the default, the home side need to keep it short when not pressed, and they're doing pretty well at that. An offside flag stops Jason Pryor, but nobody is capable of stopping Finley Potter, it seems. No, 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 no! Fuck me! Except for Dan the Wall Gallagher, obvs. The Wall, we just made that one up, we're gonna own that. Dan the Wall. On your own, Bobby! <laughs> Joe Taylor's cross is turned away by keeper Laurie Walker and Dawkins keep up the intensity with another corner. Such is the nature of the opening minutes, we've not actually cut much out yet. For it's Barnett's turn to go forwards as the Dorking bench try to figure out how to suffocate their opponent's midfield. Got drop, Josh, Josh, just drop! Got press that! Press that! Press it! Gotta be closer, Dan! Yeah, he was he was he was he was shuffling into yeah, holes. I know, yeah, I know. <laughs> Ox. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. It's hard to get info out though, isn't it? When the fucking world's not supposed to go. The four playing in the two. Ox, Ox. Remember, central centre back. Don't let the central centre back come. He's the one Jason. we want to stop. Come on. Jason. Pardon? Stop. Don't let him have it! Chase! Chase! H! H! Mark's pulling the strings from the sideline, looking to get Harrison's kick to land near the hot dog and prior. Get off it! Players do as requested, and the ball ends up in the back of the net, courtesy of Josh Taylor's right foot. Harrison Mell's kick is in the general direction of Pryor and Ottaway, and despite both players missing the ball, their presence unsettles the Barnet defence. This allows Taylor to pick up the pieces and fire past Laurie Walker to give Dorking an early lead. Josh Taylor off the back. Textbook. Hey! Hey! Next goal! Get the next goal! Barnet have designs on getting the next goal themselves, obviously, and Danger Man Kabamba is about to get his first sniff. Foot in! Foot in! 
Good lad, that was Isaac. Homegrown defender Isaac Philpott marks his return to action with a crucial block. Dan, in possession, keep it for a bit, start playing, start playing for a bit, Harrison, play for a bit. Going direct has worked, well enough that Mark wants his players to switch things up now and aim to play short for a while. This side, this side. This side, Tom. Relax! Keep it! Keep it! Out. Start again! Start again! Start again! Get wider! Come Stop on, George. George! Just stop going! Come on, George! Great, George! Good lad! Stay there! Push on! Send one on! Bobby, Bobby. Bobby. Go on, Bob. Yeah. Shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. Good, Jace. Man up, man up. Man up, yeah. Man up, yeah. Get in there, Jace. Farah's shot is blocked by Danielle Collins as Wanderers continue to confound their opponents. 20 gone. Oh. Oh. Who was that cookie? Joe Cook is the latest to send the ball flying towards Walker and this time the keeper gets it clear. Oh. Love that, Dan! Cross him! Cross! Collins tries to push Barnett forwards only for Gallagher to set up another attack. Give it to Blair, give it to Blair, give it to Blair, bro. Give it to Tom. Another assist, another assist. Got a fucking 38 a year. Mark takes the credit for setting the goal up. Although we'd argue the hot dog's vision and Blair's cross deserve plenty of credits. Blair picks out the magnetic head of Jason Pryor and he does what he does best. He nods the ball past the despairing dive of a goalkeeper. Any dead balls. It's a long, it's a long day for them from dead balls. Next goal! Next goal! Next goal! Jason, see him one way! See him one way! Josh! Josh! Take ball! Never a foul. Keep the ball! Tom Blair! Three of them gone. Not offside. Not, is no, no. He weren't. We've never thought to interview Mark mid-game. He's usually pretty focused. But then again, TNT have a lot of clout. Mark, is that the dream start for you? Well, yeah, I mean, um, you know, we wanted to sort of pick on their sort of, you know, we know we're very short today, so we had to, um, really look at where we could hurt them and obviously we've got big Jason and Harry away so it was going to be a sort of uncharacteristic direct sort of approach really to be fair um, yes it's, it's a dream start 2-0 at home of course it is and uh, you know I think they look vulnerable and dead balls and uh, we'll be trying to continue to pick on that Barnets need to improve if they're to avoid dorking running away with the game and Kabamba's five star skill move might be their nadir The thing about Nadir's is the only way is up from there. Bobby, open up! Mate, Dan Piper's son! Dan! Harry squeezed out! Cut the angle! Cut the angle! Oh, mate. For all their planning, Dawkins midfield are parting like Clark Cable's hair, and on this occasion, Chemo marauds forwards. Dorking are still committing men forwards in spite of their lead, and it could prove costly. Who's in front of the goalie then? We need to make sure we're getting, we're getting caught on this. Go work, Josh! We're getting caught on this every time. Look. You're not getting the ball. We're getting work. caught with our set pieces. They're just breaking. We're getting caught. Probably don't need to do it 2 0, to be frank. Oh. 
Safe hand solo parries away Kabamba's header and the warning signs are flashing, like Russell Brand in a working environment. Good lad, H. to keep coming at Dorking who just need to get through the last few minutes of the half. Oh my fucking days! What is it up the force? Fucking hell! Fucking hell! That's just a shoulder pass mate. For 40 years that's been a shoulder pass mate. Referee! That was a shoulder barge! Shoulder barge ref! That was a shoulder barge! Them little, that's a shoulder barge, mate. Watch it back. It's an old-fashioned shoulder barge. Those things change games. You're, you're, you're a bit hasty on the whistle. That's all I'm saying. Huh? No! It's a shoulder barge! Mate, it's a shoulder barge. No. Do you know what I said? It's a man's game, right? It's, it's a size of you, right? I think you can let a little bit more go. A little bit more? Yeah. If I fucking want like World War Three. come on. First of all, what we've now got to do is keep the ball. Keep the ball. Okay? Keep it. And your plus one is backwards, do you understand? So you can go backwards, you've got a plus one. Understand? Right? So hear me. So when we get the ball, I want to go, stay with, are you here? And you're not tuned in, there's too much noise, so I'll wait for you. I want to win the game, I want to win the game. Okay? That weren't a great off. Weren't a great off, but luckily the tactics are paying off and we've scored two goals from it. So you need to fucking tune in, lads here. Right, because you can get a great win and a two-week break in the league and be level with the playoffs. Right? Two nil up. And you've got so much more to give. Josh, MOM at the moment by a country mile. Best player on the pitch. Big message here is keep the ball. When we win the turnovers, keep the ball. We've got two boys that aren't going to lose it up front. They can hold it in. Keep the ball. Tom, you should then be looking off the back. Yeah, if they hold it in, set in, gone. Or just play back into your plus one. All okay? Everyone okay, yeah? Boy, what a great two weeks this will be, a break. What a spell this will be we've had, right? Don't worry if they get a goal. Don't worry about fuck all, because there's, you know, we can, we need one more goal to win the game. Just get one more game, one more goal. So if we can, what I'd like to see somehow, boys, is that we engage them higher up the pitch. Engage them higher, please, however you do that, okay? All right, good. It's time to talk about this week's sponsor, Station View Garage. Station View Garage is based in Dorking, not far from the ground actually, and they're a lovely bunch of people. We really trust them, and we also know that that's something that's probably more valuable than anything, knowing that you can trust a garage. They're not going to tell you they're going to fix something that doesn't need fixing. They're good people. We trust them. So, you can take a bunch of amateurs' word for it. If you need to get your car fixed and you're looking for someone to do it, go to Station View Garage in Dorking. Such nice people. Yeah, um, get Ant on there, yeah? Just say Ant, let us know, yeah? Mark's gone straight back into possession mode. Keep it! Keep it! Keep it! Fucking told him, man! Ah. Joe! Isaac! George! Dan! Tell him! Go home! When Dorking do have the ball under their control, they're capable of unlocking Barnett's defence. Transfer! 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 Isaac, come on in. Keep it! Join in, boys. Josh finds the hot dog, but a heroic block from Sam Beard might just have saved Barnett's evening. What a chance that is. Tom, Tom, don't go! Tom! Get that, Tom! Foot in, Tom! Good, Good job! Yeah. Kept it for two seconds. Pressure! He created a fucking open goal. That's in. 
go and get pressure on those crosses. But that comes, I missed it. Seconds after Dorking's best chance of the half, Danielle Collins crosses sweetly for Kabamba, who deftly flicks the ball past Harrison Mayo, turning Barnett's misery into hope. Eyes! Keep the ball! Tom! Tom! Dan, keep the ball! Jason, tell him to keep the ball! Press! Press! Go on, Tom! Foot in! Foot in! The game's opened up and Barnet know there are more goals to be had here. Nicky Kabamba is tackled, but it gives Sam Beard a chance to drive forwards. For fuck's sake! Was that a foul? No, I was fucking shit, mate. I fell over. Coach Dino's assessment might be fair, and yet Tom Blair's hand in the back of Sam Beard feels like a naive move in such a dangerous position. Anyone got the eight? Fuck's sake! Mr. Height, not that side. Mark's wondering if Anthony Hartigan has put his free kick over the shortest part of the wall. But on second look, it's not so much that he's made the most of a small wall, he's just hit a bloody good free kick. You score! You score again! Come on! Come on, lads! Hey! Come on! Tommy, get the winner, son! Dorking is shell shocked, and Barnett sensed the damage their comeback has done. into the Dorking box causes havoc and despite the Hot Dogs' valiant efforts to get the ball away from the orange and black shirts, the ricochets lead the football to the right foot of Danny Collins and it's that foot that splats the ball into the roof of the net. Let's go again, we've got to get the next goal, show some bollocks here, show some bollocks. I understand, I understand but you've, just, you've got to know sometimes, yeah 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 but sometimes you've got to do that and sometimes you've got to do that, you've just got to judge it. Now that they've got the lead, Barnett are more inclined to sit back and test the home side's ability to break them down. Oh. Frankham's free kick finds Pryor's ever reliable head, but this time you can only glance it over. Isaac, make sure we're locked here. Isaac, Dan be aware. We've, we've, we've actually been about, we've actually been about side this half, and can see the three yeah. goals. That's the bottom line. Keep at it, keep at it. Direct tumbler, tumbler. Not now. Other side. Right back. Right back. Fucking make the ball, man. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. Get your head up. Travel! Travel! Why, Tom? Take him on! Oh. Dorking are getting into better positions than that flexible guy in the telethon during Robocop 2, but they just can't make them pay off. Tom. Oh, mate! That was 
that not gone in? Good, Tom. Deliver. Tell him, tell him. Probable foul on Tom Blair goes unpunished. The bench are furious and the fourth has put up the injury time board. Six added minutes. There's definitely going to be time for one more dorking chance. Gotta be off. A Goldmouth scramble nearly gives Wanderers the opening they crave, and moments later, Harrison keeps the dream of a draw alive with a fine save from Zach Brunt. The fans are now more nervous than long tailed cats in a room full of rocking chairs, and there's just enough time for Bobby Joe to do what Bobby Joe Taylor does. Well, what he does. Well played, Dino, mate. Well done, mate. Have a good Come week. On, have a good week. I'll speak to you. Yeah, yeah have a good week, mate. Did you see him touching Walk away. It was a dive. The free kick, when you watch it back, you all know you've got done. It was a massive dive. No, it's a goal. It's a goal, though. It's a goal. That's why it's a problem. The whole pitch knew it's a dive. If you're interested in the post-match team talks and such, then you need to get onto YouTube memberships or Patreon because we've got the full uninterrupted version of this episode. It's got all of the team talk stuff in it and one episode, one version of this episode is 90 minutes long.